Hi, I'm Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com, and I am up in the attic of my daughter and son-in-law's new home. It's really pretty amazing. And I want to talk just a little bit about how this attic was created. I think you're really, really going to find it unbelievable. You know, you don't find many attics in brand new homes, and it's really a shame because it's really, really simple to do. Let me show you how. Okay, this is a huge space. This room is basically 18 feet wide, and my back is against the back wall, and to that window ahead is 43 feet. They're going to subdivide this space up here into several different rooms, but look how enormous it is. And here's what's interesting. To that flat part of the trusses above is about 9 feet 4 inches high. So it's a beautiful, wonderful space that you can easily walk around in. So how was this done? Believe it or not, right here, these are normal trusses. Well, I say normal. These are attic trusses. They are a truss that is made with a giant rectangle within the truss. And it goes all the way up. So each truss, you know, it's got all the normal components of a regular truss. But you know what? You can create giant spaces in here. But here's the magic of these trusses. And you might see this big truss right here. Look at that massive girder truss. Here's what that's all about. Typically, as you can see here, the trusses are 24 inches on center. So you would wonder, how in the world can you get a staircase? Look at this amazing staircase here. Here's a full-size staircase that's going down to the second floor. Well, we changed directions. What happened is, you can see that there are floor trusses right here that change direction and run 90 degrees. They run perpendicular, you can see it right here, to the run of the regular attic trusses. So these particular girder trusses, these giant girder trusses right here, they are helping to support the weight of the, you know, the trusses that have to go on top that basically would have been cut. Because as you well know, you're really not allowed to cut, you know, into any part of a truss. So we had to change direction and put in these floor trusses to create the same height of floor that you have normally from the regular attic trusses. I know it sounds very complex, but believe me, all you have to do is go to a really cool website and you can find out all you want to know about attic trusses and how you can use these magnificent framing members, all prefabricated at a factory, to make use of all that amazing space that otherwise would be wasted. So isn't that pretty amazing? You might not have known about attic trusses. They really, really are amazing things there is a slight upcharge for them over a standard truss, but it is so worth it. And, get this, the steeper that your roof is, the bigger the space is going to be, the bigger the room inside the attic truss. And if you want a low slope roof, you know, you know something 412, 512, 612 pitch, guess what? They can make storage trusses. They can make a smaller, not as high rectangle within the truss so that you can have a basically like a crawl space up in an attic space so that you can store things. So whatever you can dream for your attic or for your house or your roof, I'm telling you there's a really good chance it can be done by the technical and up-to-date software that the trust designers use to create these wonders. So just go to a lumber yard near you that can make your wildest attic dreams come true. I'm Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.